the travel restriction it's temporary it's you know directed at the, 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 the public health situation we want to look beyond that and look at the things we can do together as I mentioned you know in, in terms of research and exchanging uh, information about vaccines uh, therapy uh, uh, medicines that are you know we're able to develop to treat uh, the this awful disease and uh, we, we are very appreciative of the fact that you know there was some consultation beforehand when the president decided to go forward with this measure and also that uh, the measure came with other announcements, uh, including of a gift to the Brazilian Ministry of Health of 1,000 ventilators. The Brazilian government, led by President Bolsonaro, has been very serious fighting this disease in all fronts. From the outset, he said, we need to be concerned about the effects that, that the measures we take will have on the most vulnerable in our population. And those include, you know, 40 million Brazilians who work in the informal sector, who have, you know, no, no other resource than to wake up in the morning and go win their bread. If you say, stay at home, you know, do nothing, these people will starve. These people will not be able to feed their families. You know, respect for the rule of law, democracy itself, respect for human rights, for individual freedoms. That's, uh, you know, the bedrock upon which the U.S.-Brazil relations uh, uh, take place today and will take place for a very long time, independent of what happens, you know, in elections in, in both countries.